ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the opener of the new season. We have your McMurray Warhawks playing against Texas A&M International University. And your caster today is I, Shadow, and alongside with me is IB Meep, a new caster and a new player for Overwatch. How do you feel about today, Meep? I feel confident that our team is going to go out and compete and hopefully bring back a win tonight. And you're right about that. And uh, the starting three for your Warhawks are your one and only Ranable, Ranable Sprinkle, Sprinkle, sorry about that, Phoenix, and a new addition to the roster, Plagueis. These three have been practicing and using this opportunities to practice and get better and just communicate and get along with each other. As y'all do know, that Flames of the Rock, or Flames, right? I can't remember his gamer tag, but I just called him Flames. He, nothing against him right now. He is just benched right now just because he is busy with school and stuff, but nothing against him. Plagueis is a great addition to the Warhawks roster. And we should be kicking off things here shortly but surely. But I think they're not having technical difficulties, but I think they're talking stuff over. Do not know. Uh, but for today, this is only one match. There is no doubleheader. It's just one match. Is it a best of five? Best of three? Best of five? I think it's a best of five if I remember correctly. Well, that's what we're just going to go with then. A best of five. But yeah. Everybody, how was, uh, you know, your school year been? How's everything been going? Hope everything's been going good. I know me and Meep have been having a wonderful, wonderful start of our year, especially with esports. How do you feel about Overwatch this year? We're working. Got a lot of new people out there. I'm one of them, so. That's good. And uh, esports, what do you think of it, especially here at McMurray? It's definitely a way to get to know people that you normally wouldn't work with mm -hmm. outside of just class. And it gives you a lot of stuff to do and it helps you better yourself. Yeah, you're right about that. And uh, Meep, like I said, is a new addition to the Overwatch team. What do you play? What is your role on the Overwatch team? I play DPS, and I'm known as the uh, Resident McCree main. Oh, okay. As y'all do know, uh, Intercobbly is more educated than I when it comes to Overwatch. But McCree is one of the you know nicest meta picks when it comes to DPS for him or Ash. I think I don't know. I have no idea about Overwatch, but I I am the co-captain of the Valorant team. Uh, our expectations for this year, you know, just try to get out of the qualifiers, and make the playoffs as we did last year. But like you said, we're just working, you know, getting better every day, just figuring each other out and just sitting steady, you know. But yeah, we just hope this this Rocket League best of five starts, you know. <laughs> Yep. Cool. Some weird. Oh, dang. Did not mean to click that button. All right. Let me. I'm, I'm pulling up the scoreboard real quick to look at Texas A&M International University's little um, three. Yeah. Um, Man Crush Monday. Run okay. Yeah. These are some. Oh, here we go. Nice. Duze. How do you, is that how do you, how do you, is that how you say it, Duze? Dows, maybe. Dows. We'll just call him Dows. Okay. But here we go. Opening kickoff for your Warhawks in the Dust Devils. Did you can see Doze is going up already. Phoenix making a cross pass to Plagueis. Little clear there from Duck. Nice little contest. Great little save there from Ranabo. Ranabo takes it downfield with an aerial. Cursing Duck just clearing out right now. As you can see, Phoenix just trying to apply pressure to the Dust Devil's side. Just create a little pressure. Runners looking for some boost right now. Just trying to get some little pads out there. Plagueis is just going to back off, get the mid boost there. Runner's going to try to make a cross pass to the, how do we say it, Doze? 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 I'm not Doze. sure. We'll just say Doze. <laughs> you know what? Runner has no boost, but that shot, that looks like a shot. And it's going to miss just barely. And it looks like the Dust Devils will score. 
the opening goal for the start of the season here. Cursing Duck just looking for the right opportunity to strike. As you can see there, there was a little miscommunication from Ranabo and Phoenix, but yep. no issues. It's still early in the game. 1-0 Dust Devils. Phoenix on the kickoff. Nice little tip there from Sprinkle. Plague is just going to just clear it out to the corner here. See what they can do. Plagueis is going midfield right now. He's almost got open net, but Duck is there to clear things up. Nice little aerial pass. But Phoenix cannot capitalize on it. Plague is just going to... Nice little touch there from Runner as well. Duze is going to try to do something. Plague has no boost right now. Just not trying to panic. Just playing safe right here. Good clear by Plague Nice little clear here from Ranabo. You got Runner in the back right now. Nice little back and forth here. The Dust Devils are, you know, looking really good on defense right now. Uh oh, an accidental commit. double commit right there. Phoenix sends it towards the middle. Plagueis with the save. Duze with the nice demo there. Play this with the save nice, again. Nice little clear, too. Duck is going to take the ball, see what he can do with it. See if he can get a pass here. Open something up, but Ranabo is going to be there to clear it out. Runner's going to hit it, but Duze has no boost to capitalize on the pass there. Play this in clear. Going to try to 50 here, but Duck wins that 50. Rainbow going to contest, misses. Plagueis is up for the aerial and hits it away into the corner. Rainbow just saving his boost right now just for, you know, a little opening, you know, scene for the Warhawks to get going here. As we're coming down to the two-minute mark, Rainbow's going to go up. Not going to really have that much boost. Plagueis is going to give a pass to Phoenix. Good aerial by Rainbow there. Plagueis messes up his double jump there. Runner trying to give a pass here. Phoenix is going to miss that att double attempt missed. at clearing. Yeah, a little, miss a little, I guess, Plagueis. of the fakes, I guess. Plagueis almost oh. scores there. It looks like the Dust Devils have a fast break here as the net was just open just for a little bit, and Plagueis was there to clear things out. Going to pass it to Renabo. Renabo's just trying to get it downfield. Apply some pressure to the Dust Devils here. Nice little demo there. Nice. Phoenix with the score. Nice. Nice little start for the Warhawks as they finally get on the board with 116 remaining. Rainbow with a great demo there, just throwing off Duck. As you can see, he's going to have to reposition himself, especially when it comes to that boost, you know. But Phoenix saw the opportunity and he capitalized. That they did. Nice little 50 there for the Dust Devils. Duck is going to go straight up. Phoenix is going to try to clear it out. Misses the tip, but do say. Sees the opportunity to capitalize and does it. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Rather unfortunate. Nice little start here for the Warhawks on the opening kickoff. Plagueis getting it under Duze. Plagueis is just playing really aggressive right now. He is. He's winning a lot of 50s from what we see, and he's always, well, not always, but a lot of the times he's where he needs to be to counter them. True. Runner going to try to look for an opportunity here to pass it. Duze's going up as well right now. Going to miss the attempt at hitting into the goal, but does stall some time as the Dust Devils do reset here. Duck is going to try to give a clear. Plagueis is there for the capitalization, but what a save from Duze. Runner. Phoenix is ready for it and clears it. Duze with no boost, that was kind of risky. Duze on the wall again, clears it. 20 seconds remaining here. Warhawks really have to look for an opportunity to score, tie things up, and get it into overtime. Phoenix is going to use all of his boost, get there just in the nick of time to clear things out, and Ranabo. Runner with the score, off the wall. Not the start, the Warhawks did one. Ranabo did mess up on his double jump there. 
But like we said, this is a best of five, so the Warhawks do know what mistakes they are making. The Dust Devils are capitalizing on every mistake the Warhawks have been making. And as you can see here, that last goal did seal the deal for this first game. But the Warhawks, they're not going to give up a fight, you know? Going to try and score with no time left. Oh, and almost Phoenix. did. <laughs> Phoenix with the free jump <laughs> almost has a nasty goal. Unfortunate events there. Not a bad little little rally we had there. As you did see, as the minute, you know, first two minutes, you know, just kind of back and forth, back and forth. What do, you, what do you think about that? Well, there was a – they made a bunch of defensive plays that worked out well, but there were some times where they they just missed. And it, it some of those were really hard to get to. And you're you're right. I, I completely agree with you. And as, as we said, Plagueis is new. Maybe just having a little jitters, you know, a little, mm -hmm. just being a little nervous here and there. For Renabo and uh, Phoenix, you know, they've been in situations like this where mistakes do happen early, but later on they do come back and, you know, flip the switch. So let's hope that the Warhawks, you know, they get on top of that. As you can see, the Dust Devils, are, they have talent. They're there. They know what they're doing. As you can see, the scoreboard here, they all three had a goal. Very they consistent. Did. Very consistent. Message. Oh. <laughs> Going into game two. Yes, sir. Oh, my freaking arm is so sore. I can't bend it. It hurts. I'm hurting. I'm hurting, Neep. As we start off game two here, the Dust Devils are going to win the opening kickoff. Renabo is going off the ceiling right now to get a little touch. Just gets it barely. Plagueis and Phoenix hitting each other, just having some miscommunication here. And Dows is going to open it up for the Dust Devils. With a great pass. Or was it Duck? It was Duck. I thought Dows went up. It was Renner. I apologize. Duck with the great pass and Renner just in position to capitalize off of it. As you can see, the Warhawks, they, they've been out of position here. And, you know, the past four goals that the Dust Devils have scored on them. Playing really aggressive here. The Warhawks are just trying to figure out the Dust Devils. Just seeing where they're messing up. Like you're just going to take it from them off the wall. Dallas was ready in the corner to send it back, but so was Phoenix. Plague is going to get a touch there. Phoenix is going to miss the ball. So an open net right now. Somebody's got to rotate back. Dow's going to look for a pass, but none of the Dust Devils are there to capitalize on a great pass right there. Double commit from the Warhawks there, but it worked out. It just one of them stayed back. Yeah, and it looks like they're just anxious, you know. They just want to score. They just want to get a little break going. Plague's going to touch it. Going to... Give it another touch. Gonna look for a pass here. Nice little win there on that 50. Not that hard, but the Dust Devils are there to clear it out. Runner does win that 50 against Phoenix as Phoenix does attempt to try. Ranabo gonna clear mid. Phoenix is gonna give it a little touch. Runner's gonna be there. Plagueis is gonna go up. Open net right now for the Warhawks. But Ranabo is there to clear it out, but uh, that's not really a good touch. But Phoenix is back, surely. Plague is hitting it into the corner. Going to get another touch on it and then try to center it from the looks of it. Duck Dust sends it back into the corner it. again. Nice little touch there from Runner. Yeah. Dow's going up for it. Nice. Plague is, did get a touch there and sent it back down the field. Phoenix going to hit it into the corner and try to center it. Runner with a beautiful clear here. Nice little 50 there from Plagueis. Ranabo with a great touch here. Plagueis is going to capitalize on it. Plagueis got a 50 there in it. Oh, oh, cross pass there from Phoenix. Just came a little too quick for Ranabo. Plagueis catching it off the wall. Runner's going to demo Phoenix, and, and Runner's going to miss, but Duck is there to... Get the little break going here for the Dust Devils. Plagueis is going to go up. Give it a nice little touch. I'm not seeing Plagueis' boost. He's got a special boost. 
Sorry, we're taking a picture. You gotta, you gotta look famous in these parts. I'm just kidding. Runner with a nice touch here. Phoenix with a nice 50. Looks like Plagueis is gonna go up here, give it a nice little touch. Runner's gonna give it a touch as well. Lots Phoenix of... in the downfield into Duze, but we got people there to cover it. Phoenix sent going for either a center or a shot. Rotating back now. Runner with an absolutely great touch here. Bremko just sees the opportunity. Nice save there from Duck. Phoenix going to send it downfield from the corner. Open net here as Plagueis is back alone. Duze is going to give him a nice little touch. Ranabo is going to pass it to Phoenix, but Phoenix misses. Runner going in for it. And almost hits the rim. Open net right now. That was, that was, <laughs> that was scary. Close. That was, <laughs> was kind of scary. And we are closing in on the one-minute mark. And Ducey almost with a nice double touch there for the Dust Devils. Runner's going to center it. Sprinkle's going to miss. Phoenix is going to clear. And the Warhawks have a one minute. One exact minute to get things going. Phoenix and makes the score. Nice shot there from your Warhawk, Phoenix. Great little start here. Nice second goal of the season for him. Definitely. Not, not bad. Not bad. Looks like the Dust Devils are just going to play really aggressive here. See what they can do. As you can see, Runner did come up. Try to see if, if he can touch the ball, even get a potential demo. Duck is there to win that 50. It looks like the Warhawks, you know, just trying to just, just gather the storm, you know. Just, just calm it down a little. Trying to take control of the game again, and looks like it's working a little bit. It's going to go straight up. Plague is just going to give him a nice little touch. Nice little quick touch, you know. Get things going. See if the Warhawks can score here. Closing in on your 20 seconds here. On the one and only 20 seconds as we're closing in on 15. It's getting real intense here. Warhawks are going for a break right now. Plague is just trying to clear it out, but Duck is there. 10 seconds remaining. Phoenix is rotating back to come off the wall, maybe. Oh. Nice clear there from Ranabo. Let's see who can keep it up. And it looks like it's going to touch the ground, and we're going to go straight into OT, the first OT of the season. Second game of the season, first OT of the season. Hey, it's just it's everything. Everything is just going great right now. It is. Plagueis with a nice little touch, and he's going to try to bump Duck out of the way. Duck's trying to give it a touch, but misses. Renabo's going to try to still make Phoenix. He was just kind of worried that... One of the Dust Devils is just going to come up, and nice little play from Duze there. So Plague is going up to uh, stop the overshot yeah. there. So. Looks like the Dust Devils are going to have a little brink of time here to situate. As Plague resets and doesn't have any boost at the moment, he probably did get that back boost, so he probably does have boost right now. Phoenix is just Plague is flying fate. Plague is just doing his thing. Two back for the Warhawks as Plagueis is just going to come back now. Phoenix Duck. up on the wall taking it from him. Ranabo sending it downfield with the center. They knock it away. Nice little double commit there for the Dust Devils. It works in their favor. Phoenix is the only one back right now. As The goal is open, but oh. an absolute great save from Ranabo. Just seeing that it's coming and being ready for it. Duze with another save, too. Plagueis with the center, but Duck's going to clear it. And the Warhawks, they're just, they're just a second behind. Just a second behind these cross passes and cross-filled opportunities to capitalize. Ranabo going to send it back downfield. They try to touch it, but it keeps going on to their, the enemy side. Nice little pass there from Plague, Plagueis as... Phoenix tried to do something there. I don't know if he was going to shoot or demo. Please going to clear it out as we're coming into the two-minute mark. Nice little fake there from Phoenix. Trying to get a bump. Plagueis is all back alone and no nothing. And Runner. Runner going to come out of nowhere and win the 50 on Phoenix. Your Dust Devils win game two and go up 2-0 on the Warhawks. They did.
That just, demo there. And it looked like just a little bit of miscommunication, as you did see, too. Yes. As Duze and Cursing Duck were down there giving a little, you know, physicality. You know, they I know were. they're cars, you know, <laughs> but I don't know. I, can, I guess I can put it in sports term. I don't know how you people want it. I mean, <laughs> just bumping. That's what they call it in Rocket League, bumping. But the Dust Devils, runner comes up, clutch, two goals on three shots, and the Dust Devils came to play. They came to play today. Both teams are doing really good out there, though. You can see how much time they put into yes. it, and you know that they're not going easy on each other. Hey, you're, you're not wrong. You're completely right. The competition level is set high. Standards are high. You know, everybody wants to win, you know, the opener. Everybody wants to win the first game, first match, anything. Anything that's coming up in a competitive type level sport. Everybody wants to win that opening match, game, etc. You know, just to get that confidence. You know, get, keep the snowball just rolling. Just keep it doing its thing. I wonder how many viewers we have. Sorry if we haven't been paying attention to chat. I can't see it, you know, right now. Neither can I. Yeah, it's on the right right there, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Just got to live with it. Coming into game three here. Pretty good 50 on the kickoff there. Yeah, not bad. Goes in the favor of the Dust Devil as Runner does come in, clear it out. Plagueis just trying to do something. Phoenix is there for the pass. Nice little touch there from Phoenix. Ranabo going to shoot. What a save from Runner, though. What a save. Plagueis loses that 50 to Runner as he sends it downfield. We send it out of the corner, but Duck is ready. Duze nice with the aerial there. Then, but that double commit goes into the Warhawks' favor. Another double commit there. From what I can tell with their double commits, one of them's always going back in the direction of their goal, so somebody's always in position. Well, true. Then you have to you have to be smart, especially when you're aerialing, because you you know you, time is key when it comes to positioning and timing. It in is. This game. And if they hit it wrong, then they could send it back in the. Yeah. Towards their own goal with You're it. You're exactly right. 50 here, but Duze is going to get a nice little demo. Phoenix there with the 50, sending it into the corner and then sending it down the field. Runner going to pass it. Plaguey is getting it off the wall. Duze is going to try to do something with Phoenix, was just trying to, you know, just stop it. See what he can get going. It looks like Plaguey and Phoenix. Made a back pass there. A little, nice little back pass, you know. Might be a little miscommunication. I don't know. I don't know. If this is their game plan, this is their game plan. They're just trying to stay as active as possible. That's all they're trying to do. The rim saves it there, and Phoenix and Rambo are going to go up and send it away. Plaguey is catching it off the wall. And then Runner sending it back down towards the goal. Yeah, nice little clear there from Runner. And even though he gets demo, he does give the Dust Devils the opportunity to get their break going. And great save there from Plagueis. Phoenix is going to miss. Just couldn't get up fast enough. It's That's a difficult to get up to. And I don't know if he second-guessed himself as he thought. Maybe it was going to go over, may, hit the crossbar. Maybe, you know, just hit the corner and just let everything reset. But your Dust Devils do go up. One to zero here in game three. Another little 50 on the kickoff there. This time it goes to in our favor with Plagueis coming up and getting it off the wall. Nice little save there from Duze as the Warhawks did have a nice little triple commit there. You know, the Warhawks there, they're just trying to play aggressive. They're just trying to get on the board, play with the boys. That's all they're trying to do with the Dust Devils right now. Phoenix was ready for it to come off the wall in that corner and send it downfield. Going to go for the 50 here and try to line up the center. Duze was ready for it, though. Nice. Plagueis with the score. Nice passes. Nice communication. Ranabo, the great pass to Plagueis. Plagueis opening with his very first game for the Rocket League team. First goal. This yeah. First goal. Nice. This time, they 
we, we lose the kickoff on this one, but we recovered pretty well, I, I would say. Nice little pass there from Runner. Duzay's kind of out of position, but I think he was just there, you know, just to let the Warhawks know he's there, you know, just in case there's a bump. Nice little play starting to happen. Nice little 50 there from Runner. Duzay getting the aerial off. Plagueis coming off the wall and going for the <laughs> shot and making it. Two in a row from Plagueis there. The new addition to the roster. Saying, put respect on my name, please. <laughs> please put respect on my name. Plagueis. Showing us why he's on the team. Hey, hey. We know why. He has talent. He's focused. He's locked in right now. Warhawks go up 2-1. First lead in this best of five. Right, we're going to send it midfield. Clayton is going up and getting another touch on it. He's got to be aware of his boost here. Has there a boost looking for a pass? Phoenix trying to you know, show off some talent there. He's going to do a nice little air roll. Doesn't go in his favor, though. Clayton is with the 50. Runner's still up. Has enough boost. But Phoenix is there, ready to take it from him. Warhawks just trying to slow things down so they just don't get ahead of themselves, make a mistake. Well, he is going to try and land on it, but misses because Runner hit it. Annabo, nice 50 with Runner. Plagueis is back, just going to clear it out. The 2 on 2 right now. A nice shot from. Du what in the. What? I, I have to. I well, couldn't even see what happened there. What? We have to get on that. What was... Oh, my... That's a crazy oh rake my... from Duzay there. What? A double touch? <laughs> oh, my gosh. The Dust Devils tie it up. This one goes to the Dust Devils on the kickoff, and Duzay lost the 50 there. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a best of five. So if the Dust Devils do win here in the last 50 seconds... It is going to be a sweep for the season opener. But there's still hope for the Warhawks. They're still fighting hard. There's an opportunity in open net and that runner. Runner just what? messed up what? the shot what? for what is what? what? I'm confused. I'm confused right now. What just happened? 30 seconds right here. Runner may have been <laughs> going for boost and not been in ball camp and had no clue where the <laughs> ball was. <laughs> what just happened? We're confused. I'm so confused, Meep. What just happened? <laughs> I, I think Runner might not have been in ball camp and been going for boost. Oh, my Lord. What happened? Had no ball awareness there, if I had to guess. Yeah, it's a, just a brain fart there for the Dust Devils. And it looks like this one might be going to overtime, but it has to touch the ground in order for it to go to overtime. One. Duzay missed. Okay. Not a bad idea for the Warhawks as they just let it touch the ground. Just a reset. You know, calm down, get the nerves out of the way. And Duzay's going straight up. Nice little 50 there from Plagueis, though. Open net, but Plagueis is back in Duzay with a nice, nice demo there. Randombo going up for it and sending it into the wall and catching it and sending it back towards in mid to Plagueis. And, and makes Plagueis. another score. Plagueis with the outstanding performance as he's going to give the Warhawks their first win in this best of five. Nice performance here in game three for Plagueis. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the new addition to the roster for the Rocket League team for your Warhawks. And while, while we're in the process of everything... Let's uh, let me let me uh try to fix. Let's fix this real quick so we can uh see chat. You know, you know what I mean. If it'll work for us. Okay, maybe not. Hey, there we go. We can see it. <laughs> oh gosh. Plagueis, let's go. Let's go, Warhawks. Yes, yes. Loud band promos. Thank you. Crack a boom, Rob. We appreciate y'all tuning in tonight. As we. Yeah. Watching us, supporting us. We do have seven viewers. That's, that's quite a bit. It's not a bad little crowd. Maybe a little bit of strategizing going on here while we're ready, waiting to ready up here. And especially, especially for the Dust Devils, after Duze shoots it downfield, open net for the Warhawks, and Runner just <laughs> in the way. <laughs> no telling what happened there. 
<laughs> we we were we were <laughs> confused. We we were really confused, but the Warhawks, you know, they were like, "Hey, y'all gave us another chance. We're still here." Where? I know. Oh, I can't remember what auto cam is. Oh, there it is. Boom! Nice little fifty there as we get it started off. Game four here, and Duze's just gonna open up with a nice little goal. He said he was tired of it and making up for his last goal that should have closed out this series. But the Dust Devils, they're all business. They are. He's showing Quakey if that he's not the only one that can make goals hey, tonight. Hey, you're right. You're right. And Duze doing his part. The kickoff here. Quakeyus wins the 50 on the kickoff, sending it downfield. Runner going to catch it on the wall and send it back, but Phoenix was ready for it. Rainbow wins the 50 there, and we got a double commit there, and Rainbow is having to chase it into the corner to send, to catch up to it and send it back down. Coming off the sail and gets a touch and sends it down to Duck, who caught it, and Runner going to send it back downfield towards the McMurray Warhawks goal. And what a save from Rainbow. What a save. That was that was a difficult one to make too. You could tell, not easy to be coming from the same direction hey, as the ball. It, absolutely awesome effort, great hustle. Plagius stops uh, runner. I think it was with the ball there. Yeah. Gonna try to give it a cross pass to Phoenix. As you can see, Phoenix was just a little out of position, but the Run Dust Devils are on a break right now. Plagius taking it from runner there. Doug tries to stop him, but Plagius just sends it right past him. Nice little touch there from Runner, and it looks like Runner's going to... Oh, wait, that was Duze. Right. <laughs> I, 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 it feels like we just see Runner all the time, just we, for how many times we see him touch the ball. It's insane. It, absolutely. Absolutely insane. Plaguey is going up on the wall, going to send it down the middle. Runner going to catch it. Ranabo going up, gets the touch into the corner. Plaguey is going to go gonna... for the center. Oh, and Phoenix had the opportunity. It looked like Duze bumped him at the end there. That's what it looked like there. And Phoenix is going to try to do something here. Runner's there to defend it. Plagueis stops him again. And nice and little makes touch. The goal. <laughs> Plagueis has made the Warhawks last four goals. The last four goals for your Warhawks. Plagueis is having an absolute display today. Yeah. Totally insane how these plays are going. Warhawks uh, win another kickoff here, and Runner catches it off the wall. Phoenix with the 50. Sprinkle with the 50. Plaguey is going to send it down to Sprinkle, but Sprinkle misses. Runner coming off the wall. Plaguey is coming off the wall. Runner does a back pass to Duck. Duck sends it downfield. Runner misses the aerial. Plaguey is going to come up for it and knock it into the wall d towards the Dust Devil side. Plagueis knocking it into the middle, and Phoenix going for the shot from the looks of it. And a triple commit here from the Dust Devils. Plagueis just going to try to get a centered ball here to give a nice little pass to Ranabo. Ranabo with a nice double touch, and your Warhawks are finally performing. It's going to be a good one tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Trust us. It's going to be a great one. And this is the second game of the season. I apologize. We apologize. But mainly it's my fault because I thought, you know, for us, it, it, it's our first game. <laughs> especially, especially with Meep here. This is Meep's first time. What is it? Your first time casting? Yes. yes. So yeah, this Meep Meep's uh, casting uh, debut. But it's two one. Your Warhawks are up. Two twenty left. Plagueis is gonna give it a nice little touch. Duze trying to shoot it towards the goal. See what they can do with the ball. Plagueis getting a nice little cleared. Plagueis is just all over the place right now. He's doing good. He's making a lot of clears. And, like right there, coming off the wall to clear it and send it downfield. Very aggressive here. Going to give it a nice little bump. Phoenix catching it off the wall, but Duze sends it down to Plagueis. Plagueis sends it to Sprinkle, and Sprinkle couldn't do anything with it. Too many people in the way. We got Duze going up for it here, but Plagueis hits it into the corner. Duck sending it down into the middle of the field. Sprinkle knocking it in towards Plagueis. Plagueis, Duze on the wall, catches it. Goes up for the aerial. Phoenix steals it from him into a center. Sprinkle, oh, Duze knocking it away. Plagueis knocking it back towards the middle again. Duck it sends it into Plagueis who cuts him off. 
Clavius and Phoenix. Double what the go? They make it. Nice. They make it. Nice. Your Warhawks go up 3 1, and that might have just clinched this game. This might be what takes us into a game five tonight. Hey. Really entertaining tonight. We're really entertaining. This is this is really entertaining. The Warhawks did have a slow start, but you know, it just takes time. Like I said, they probably just had to work the nerves out. Little you know, strategy different or diff difference. You know, just changing things. And Plagueis is just gonna close it out. Five goals for Plagueis. He is. He's making a lot of goals tonight at when we've needed him. Definitely letting everybody know that he's here to compete. And here is the scoreboard. Plagueis has two goals right now. Two, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute debut for us. Casting. And look at this kickoff here. And it looks like Plagueis is going to score again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Plagueis is absolutely just going just berserk right now. Six goals. Six goals in the last two games. Six goals, ladies and gentlemen. Plagueis is having an absolute time right now. He's having a ball, and it looks like for sure those last two goals from Plagueis did, you know, clinch it for the Warhawks. And it does look like the Dust Devils have to change something, you know, trying to stop Plagueis, you know, just playing more around him, stopping him defensively. One thing, the only, one thing that they could do, and that might be their strategy going into the next game, is to just demo him every time they can. And just, like you said, just that opportunity they have the time to bump him, demo him, it, absolutely perfect. Just giving the Dust Devils a hard time right now. Plagueis, with an absolute wonderful debut. Wonderful. Plagueis the GOAT, for sure. There's Without a, a doubt. There's upsides and downsides to that strategy, though. If they do that, then it becomes a 2v2 instead of a 3v3. And if Plagueis is able to avoid the bumps and demos, it might be a 3v2. And you're not wrong. And it depends how the Dust Devils position against Plagueis as well. And as you did see, your winner are the Warhawks. The series is tied up now 2-2, two two, ladies and gentlemen. We're going into a Game 5. A Game 5. We even have people from ACU tuning in. Wall of Rocky League. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you guys for supporting us. Really means a lot. What's the series? The series is 2-2 two to two right now, Wall. It is tied up. The Warhawks did go down 0-2 right off the bat, but it's been an absolute ball. How would you say so, Meep? They've been, they both teams have been playing like there's no games left because this next one is it. Yeah. Whoever wins this next game wins it all tonight. And you're absolutely right. What do you think of the performance that Plagueis is put on, putting on for us right now? His debut is phenomenal. And I, we didn't cast the last game. I don't know if this is his official debut, but we're treating it like it is his debut, and he's absolutely showing out. He's been in position quite a bit, and it's helped. And here we go. Game five. Plagueis winning another kickoff here. And going to follow it up into the corner for a center to Phoenix. And it looks like the Warhawks are just confidence. Their confidence has gone tremendously high. Especially after the performance with Plagueis in the past two games. Scoring six unanswered goals. Just absolutely insane. One assisted by Ranabo, but the, the rest of them. By himself. What a guy. He He's making an impact in the games tonight. And, and he's everybody knows it. Big impact player. Tremendous impact player tonight. Phoenix with a nice demo. Plagueis back there ready for the... Oh, but Runner rates him that time and sends it into the goal off of Plagueis' play. And as you did see, especially with that goal, your Warhawks were out of position, so Plagueis had to try to get back as fast as possible. But Runner saw the opportunity and, well... He capitalized on it. 1-0 Dust Devils first your Warhawks. Plagueis is the only one back again. And on, on that kickoff, it's hard to get back sometimes because everybody's fighting over the side boost to yeah, get there. You're right. And I was just about to say the same thing as you, you know. Big boost, big pads, whatever you want to call them, they, they're the main objective to, you know, your breaks. Aerial link, you know, just having 
the right strategy, just being fast consistently. But it is 2-0 in the Dust Devils' favor right now. Runner sending it downfield. Plagueis is getting 50. He wins the 50, sending it down towards the Dust Devils' side. And this is an opportunity for the Warhawks to score in Game 5 as Runner is now back. As he did have no boost trying to attempt to score. Phoenix is trying to go to 50 that, but Duck gets a great touch there. Plagueis going for it there. Gets the 50. Duck going up for it. Hits it. Phoenix catches it and sends it back down. Plagueis is the only one back right now. Sends it down to Phoenix, who sends it into the corner. Duze get, does the, get a little touch there that sent it towards the goal. Ranabo rotating back mid. Plagueis going to send it in right above the goal, pretty much. Duze going up. Phoenix going for the center there. Great. And Runner gets the clear. Yes, what a great clear there from Runner. Dust Devils are all over the place, and that looks like Plagueis is going to score his seventh goal of this series. What an absolute... I am just shocked right now. This is... I don't know about you, me, but this is a performance. This is a performance from Plagueis. Seven goals for Plagueis right now. Absolute just tearing up the field right now. I don't know that anybody else even comes close in this set. And... You're absolutely right, and Plagueis is, I wouldn't say putting the team on his back, but that's the only thing we can say about him right now. He's making a lot of the goals, and there might be some plays going on that we don't see, hey. some setups. Hey, and you're absolutely right, especially with positioning. It looks like he's doing an absolute great job, and as you can see here, Fink is going up with the fake, but Runner's going to be there to capitalize. You saw Plagueis come in trying to get his eighth goal of the night, but he's not going to get there in time. Phoenix is going to give it a nice little touch. Ranabo going to retreat, go back and get that big boost. Looks like Plagueis is going to pass it back to him. Duze trying to get in position there. Almost a cross pass there from Phoenix to Ranabo. Duck has no boost here. Nice little bump there. Phoenix won that 50 pretty nicely. Oh. Looks like there might be a little bit of miscommunication yeah. there. Both went for it. We can, we can hear the guys out there and... Ranabo did say me, 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 like he needed the ball. And Phoenix probably just didn't know how close he was. Plague is sending it into the corner. Duze going to knock it back, but Phoenix is sending it back into the corner. They seem to want to take that corner shot there. And I think from the corner, it's the best position to, you know, just get your offense going. As we are closing in on a minute 30 here in this last game of the series and the tense the tension is just getting more intense intense play is trying to get a demo but Ranabo does so the warhawks have the opportunity to get a second demo and duze is there to clear it out the dust devils just absolutely everywhere in defense right now just trying to hold their lead plague is trying to do something phoenix catching it there gonna and it steal that big back. pad it's going back towards sprinkle who's going to clear it into the corner and try to send it downfield here Loses the 50. Luckily, Phoenix is in position to send it down. And we are closing in on the last minute of this series. And your Dust Devils trying to get a break going. And Duze sitting back, just making sure that the Warhawks just don't have an opportunity. It looks like... It looks like that might be a clincher right there for the Dust Devil as Duck just... Nice, nice little touch there. Looked like the Warhawks did have a little miscommunication. As you see, Phoenix was late on just the rotate but there's still plenty of time there's yeah, still plenty the, you of time you can always make a kickoff goal which would be nice and speaking of kickoff goals it looks like it goes in the dust devil's favor sends it into the corner there and Ranabo is going to send it Ooh, down with Plagueis oh my what a goodness save from Duze. oh my goodness oh oh and Duze gets the oh. score there Duze did that literally all by himself from the save and to the shot. Gets that nice little touch off the ceiling. And that that might have just clinched it there. There's still plenty of time, but the Warhawks have to play. They have to play fast. They have to play fast and make sure their mistakes are limited. With how little time is left, I don't think they can have any mistakes, really. Yeah. And how well the Dust, Devil, Dust Devil's defense is playing right now. I don't think the Warhawks have anything to capitalize on right now. 
but we're closing on the last 10 seconds and it looks like your Dust Devils will take this series. But it was an absolute crazy series as the Warhawks did go down 0-2 and bring it back. And the Dust Devils defense comes in humongous. We, you know, I don't even think that's a word, but it tremendous defense from the Dust Devils. The Warhawks played their hearts out. And, you know, the party leader did leave. <laughs> and we should have a post-game interview here. I don't know yet. I don't know how the guys feel, especially after that last game. But, ladies and gentlemen, we want to say thank you for tuning in. We have 13 viewers. We do. That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. But that was really, that was an exciting series, it wouldn't was. you say? It was. Um, what, mistakes on both sides. You could see it. So there were times where there wasn't commitment communication such as the enemy team not walking a goal from themselves and you're absolutely right and I don't think we have a post game interview I don't think we are but it was an absolute blast casting with you for the first time Eek. but we can talk a little bit more about the Warhawks and Plagueis is absolutely wonderful performance what do you think about that his performance tonight was phenomenal. He made a bunch of goals, and he was contesting everything that he could. And I, from the looks of it, there wasn't a whole lot of double commits whenever he's going up. And there, there was in those first two games, but it looks like as the Warhawks did adjust, you know, especially with their offense getting their breaks going and stuff, cross passes, you know, they just, it just didn't go their way. But in the last three games, they they did the they. They, it looked like they started communicating better. And you're right. And Plagueis, crazy performance. Had two hat tricks back to back. Hat tricks. Three goals. Three. He had seven goals in the last three games of the series. And he is a new addition to the Rocket League roster. But it's still early. The Rocket League team still has a lot to build on. And once again, like I said before, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in as your McMurray Warhawks do get beaten by Texas A&M International University Dust Devils. They were really talented. They really, were. Really talented. Really, really talented. And as you said, back and forth, just back and forth, back and forth. But with that, I want to say, Thank you for casting with me, Neep. Yep, yep. It was an honor to be here. Had fun. And I'm, I hope we get to do this just about every time we have more occurring Rocket League games. Um, as y'all see, Warhawks do have lots of talent this year. Lots of talent. Ranabo and Phoenix, they did their part, but they just, it feels like they just feel like they didn't play to their, their top potential. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end the stream here, and once again, we want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in, and I'm Shadow, and I'm out of here. Meep is heading out as well. Y'all have a nice night. We appreciate y'all. Thank you, guys.